Okay, so I've tried this a few different times and uh, I just, I end up just overdoing it. So let me just show you what has to happen. You gotta excuse the mess. I'm putting in a lot of aftermarket stuff in my wife's car. So I got all these boxes. Anyway, so this is where the sub-assembly goes. This is, this is the piece, if you buy from Audi, it's uh, 900 and something a piece before taxes and shipping. Uh, <clears throat> and this goes right in here, you know, like so, like this. The, the thing I will tell you uh, that's important, the only thing that's really difficult about The only thing that's really difficult about this, the thing that I will tell you that's important uh, is the only thing about this is these two tabs that are here and here underneath, really hard to get to when you have the tire on. So um, you're going to want to take your tire off to do this. <clears throat> and those tabs, you just need a screwdriver, but it's easy to get to when the wheel's off. Anyway, so this is this goes on there like this. Boom. Anyway, so this is what you're going to be taking off. That's pretty simple because the bolts are straightforward. You'll see everything you see. The only ones that you wouldn't have seen is the, the, the two bolts that are right here, and I'm telling you about it right now. So setting that aside, and as far as taking the side blades off, there's a million videos online about how to do that, and the only the only uh, difference on the other side is right here you have your gas tank lid and you have to take that off before you can fully take the blade off. But other than that, yeah. it's uh, pretty simple. The thing that you'll have to do on this one <clears throat> that's different than just taking the side blades off is you will have to, uh, I can't see it from there. Let me get my other camera. Actually, I'll, do, I'll just do it with this camera. And I'll, I'll have both angles so we can, so I can superimpose it. Okay, so you have to take this. It's just so hard. This panel here has to come off, and so I'll show you on the other side. Remember, I'm filming it with this. It's super simple. You have the, the R8 strip that's glued on. Uh, you just need some upholstery tools. I'll show you those to get that off. And then underneath that, there's some screws. We'll take those off. You'll see them, very obvious. And then you'll, then after you get that off, you'll have all these screws. Now, the only, this is all simple. The only, the only thing that would be weird is if you didn't know your last screw is here. Or I mean here. That holds that, uh, whatever that is, side skirt. <clears throat> so other than that, that's all simple. This is all fairly simple. Now, we're gonna go into the other room. Uh, honestly, if you have the ability, you should just probably take this to a body shop, which would be zero problem for those guys. Okay, so this is going to be the trickiest thing you're going to do. Um, is taking these plastic tabs off. So what I got was a, I, I put a link, actually I'll put a link somewhere to this. This is just a Harbor Freight. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's not a plastic welder, although you might be able to find it under that, looking for that listing. Um, yeah, I forgot the name of it. I'll put a link somewhere. Uh, anyway, and you'll get three tips with it. It's 69 bucks. Your auto shop, your body shop guys probably already have one. And you're gonna get three tips, like you know, a curved tip, a straight tip, and this tip. Do not use either of these because these are too powerful and they will wreck your piece. Um, also, I when I did this one, when I first was doing it, I'll show you and you can probably see it. This is the original that's in there right now. I don't know if you can see with the camera, I don't know how good the definition is, 
but you can see it's kind of all warped here. That's because I used a regular heat gun and uh, it was just too much because it was too broad, you know, the hole is like that big. And so you just need to just get the heat right on these tabs. So uh, these are already done and that's not really what I want to show you because that's even that isn't as hard as the next thing. So you'll heat those up. So you'll take those and you'll just, and a little tip, a little tip on this is when you're heating them up, <clears throat> you kind of want to, yeah, it's hard to do with two hands. You're going to think like, oh, the gas comes out uh, like this way. It comes out like kind of straight. So it's like kind of, just pretend like this thing goes straight and that's kind of where the hot is coming out. I would test it, and I always do. Just have a piece of plastic here, one of my prototypes from the very beginning. And then I'll just get it hot uh, until I can move it. Actually, I'll show you. This is already hot, because I already, I was just practicing. So like, let's say, take a piece here, put it in the glass down. And I touch it, I don't know if you can see me touching it, but that's kind of, when it starts to move, I know it's getting soft. Because you don't want to melt it, you just want it soft enough to move. See that? It's starting to get soft. So that would be good right there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it, but see how soft it is? It's moving. See, normally it's hard. That moves. And that's when you, you gotta get both of those. You gotta get both of those soft, and you have to take it off with care. Because I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna show this camera. But see, that's how Audi did it. They they put them on here and then they they just got a hot, I don't know, some robot squished it all down but you're going to need these you're going to need these white tabs and they may sell them uh, i don't know if they do or not I'm, I'm just reusing mine so now let me take this off so we can this just i find the easiest way is i'm right-handed is to just pull it off this way and it when you're putting it on you want to kind of slide on be mindful of this tip you don't want to scratch your sub assembly so just be mindful when you're putting it on. Get the get it on there like that, and then just line up that. Go for that bottom hole first. And it's the same with the ones that you're buying, and I'll show you later. But this was just on there, so take that off. The we don't need this right now. So I'm just gonna set this down over here. Take this, I'll take this one off first. I'm gonna need a pair of needle nose, pliers. Maybe This is what I did it with before. And I did mess it up. If you notice, I didn't care because this is the one that's coming out. This is the factory one that you're going to be replacing. Um, this side was okay, did fine, and this was my very first try. So this one was okay, you know, like I got it all hot and then I came up underneath it, you know, like this with the screwdriver, like this, kind of like just was going like that. Well, and then, I, and then once I could get this in there, I kind of, because I wanted it to pull it evenly. So I got it under and kind of just pulled it up. Uh, that side came off okay, and then this side, I just tried to go too fast. I, I could fit it under there, I was like, and I just came too fast. Uh, there's still plenty of material if you needed to, you know, put it back on, and that's plenty of material too if you want to put it back on. But I did, uh, I did mess it up. I just reformed it. I got it hot and then reformed it, and it's too big. Like, if you actually wanted to reuse it, you'd have to cut. You'd have to cut some of this off to, to make it fit. Anyway. All that to say, uh, it can be 
it, you know, this is not, this is not easy. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. I'm gonna do this middle one. So we'll get this piece all hot. I do one side at a time because, I mean, I suppose I could try to do both sides. I didn't do that before. Like I said, I touch it to see if it's melting. And remember, it kind of comes out straight. Now for... Oh, and on the setting, I have it on number three. Because I didn't want to go, like you can feel it, just all this plastic is already warm. I just didn't want to go too hot. And I'm filming the whole thing, although you might find it boring, so you can get some sort of a reference for how much time it's going to take. You can see it starts to get a little glossy. Okay, I can see this. Time to take a stab at it. So let's see what that back to one at a time. I, I think it's cooling off too much. I think it's cooling off too much. Too quickly.
one side. I just like to do this in case I need to, in case I, for some reason I need to use this again. But for some reason I need to use that. I'd like it to be all. Nice and straight. I can cut it. I can always cut it back. And you can always do this later if you needed to. You can always do that later if you need to. I just wanted to show you how, that's how you get them off. See how it really deforms it when you take it off because it's kind of all like this. But the only part that is necessary, I don't know if you can see from the camera, but this is how wide it is, just right there. So all that, all that extra like right here, and on that side, it only needs to be this wide. So all that's extra, that could be cut away. All that could be cut away. So you have plenty of plastic to do a reinstall if you needed to. So that's, that's that. And then on this, you know, yeah, it's kind of beat up a little bit, you know, but you're reusing it. And that's plenty, I'll show you, because I already put one on the other side. Let me go get it. So this is this is the side blade. It's actually going to go on my car, and uh, I already did one. You can see it. Put it on there. So and my tabs are a little different because you know obviously they have a machinery factory. They get them hot and then stamp it. I don't have that, so I just use this. And as you can see, I just turn them over and then press them down. And then when they're cool enough but still soft, I just press it. And you can see. That is in there, that is tight, going nowhere. It's, e it's, it's easily as secure as theirs. I mean, that's not moving. And so, anyway, I'll show you this one. I'll put this one on me. Make sure there's no, like right, I, put a, I cut a piece in there. Little piece got, you know, I don't want to have that in the way, slowing me down. And get it on. So let's just make sure it goes on. It goes on just fine. So there it is. So all we're going to do is heat one up, turn it over, and boom. And this is way faster. That's the hard part. Look at that, it's already soft. You 
He's bending it over is all I'm doing. Holding that down as it cools. It's not even hot. I mean, that side's in. That's not going anywhere, baby. Now I just got to do the side. That's all there is to it and then these are in the same exact location as the other ones and I'll show you uh, I'll, I'll show you well when it comes time because I still have to do the rest when it comes time I'll show you where they go on the car but anyway that's how that's the hardest part because putting this on you're gonna see there's like there's these little circles where and you can tell these things just this, they just snap on, Bink, just like that. So actually, I probably won't even show that because it's so simple. Anyway, this is the hard part that I wanted you to see before you bought one of these, knowing that you'd have to do this. Now, I should mention, I've already, you know, I had a backup plan for myself in case I really screwed up, which it actually turned out perfect. I'm like, I'm really happy with it. They're super tight, not going anywhere. Um, what I would do, I think I have some somewhere. I wanted to show you. Oh, it's here. You could have got, uh, you could use JB Weld. JB Weld would work, I'm 100% sure JB Weld would work. The problem is if you use JB Weld, the regular JB Weld, you know, you're going to have to then Dremel cut it off when you want to take it off. Uh, and I found this plastic bond, JB Weld. So if I was going to do it, if I, if, I may miss, if I make a mistake, um, then I'm just going to use the plastic JB Weld. I, I'm not making mistakes, so I don't need to, but that's what I would use. And same thing for this. If I had to put it back in and I had destroyed too much, uh, I would, it's hard to destroy enough that you wouldn't be able to put these back on because they only need to rest on them. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little lip and it just has to come down and rest on that lip. So there's plenty left to just sit. You can see how much folds over. And I made those the same height as these. So there's lots to, to fold over. But anyway, if you had to, you could just JV weld this. J you could JV weld these on and you would not, you wouldn't have to go through any of this. You could literally, if you wanted to, you know, if you wanted to, you, you could cut those off if you wanted. I wouldn't cut them off. I'd do it the way, I would do it this way because it's easy, it works. You know, other, you just gotta buy this tool or your, you know, your body shop guy, he's gonna have one already. And then remember, use that tip, not these tips. And uh, that's it, it's really that easy. So uh, after that, the assembly is the exact same thing as when you took it off in reverse. And I just showed you how to take these off. And it's the same thing. Taking, taking these off of this is the same as what you just watched. Let me get this out of the way. So taking those off is the exact same as taking these off. It's the same principle. Actually, these are easier. Those are harder because you're trying not to destroy that other white plastic. These, it's, once you get them warm, you know, it's easy to pull off. So 
The only other thing I would say is, um, you know, be careful about scratching it. I went this whole project without doing anything, and I don't know if you can see, I scratched it there up with a piece of plastic. I scratched it. Now, fortunately, this is on the inside of the side blade. The side blade comes all the way to here, so nobody's ever gonna see that. But when you buy these from Audi, when you when you buy the, the side blade the side blade mesh, you get this piece too, but it's not painted. So whatever color your car is or whatever wrap is, you're gonna have to redo this. And this is all visible. All this is all visible. So you have to do that. Um, so don't damage it. Or else you're gonna end up having to buy a whole one anyway. And they don't sell people. So uh, you know. and for the people, some guys have asked me about do I am I making the diamond pattern? Guys have asked me, are you gonna make the diamond pattern of this? I already did. Um, I haven't sent it off to be manufactured, but if you're interested in a diamond pattern, if enough people are, then I will uh, I'll make another diamond one. It's not, you know, it's just, I'm, to be honest with you guys, I'm so tired of this project. I really don't wanna work on it anymore, but I, I would, uh, if you really wanted one, I, I'd hook you up. I hope you don't, because I really don't want to do it. Give me, a, give me a couple months off, and then I'll probably be all raring to go, but for now, it's honeycomb. So that's it. Oh, if you have any questions about the install, you can email uh, sup at blacktopmods.com. sup at blacktopmods.com.